guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I just wanted to give you a big life update. If you don't know, I got married on October 10th and we came back from our honeymoon. And I just wanted to sit down and chat and talk and get back to uploading because it has been chaos trying to edit and plan a wedding and a honeymoon and just all of that. So we're just going to jump right into it. I probably won't really be saying what I'm using, I'll probably be talking, but um, I should link everything down below and let you know what I'm using on my face. Okay, I'm gonna start with my eyes, like usual. So I got married on October 10th, like a lot of you know, which was a Saturday. And getting to that point, which as a lot of you know, was kind of chaotic. We made it, we're married, it was a beautiful, beautiful day. Now I don't have a lot of pictures to share with you yet unfortunately um my photographer shared four proofs which i'm sure i'll edit in here the forecast kept changing from like a 30 percent chance of rain to a 40 and then it jumped into the 90 percent chance of rain and then it said it was only gonna rain in the afternoon and then it wasn't gonna rain or it was only gonna rain in the evening it kept changing every time i kept looking at it and so I wasn't really all of that concerned. I was like, oh, if it rains, it rains, whatever. But it kind of ruined my plans of where we wanted our ceremony to be specifically at the venue because it was supposed to be an outdoor ceremony. Well, that changed. So we ended up doing it under the canopy dealio that they had, which it was beautiful. But I, none of us, I don't even think the wedding planners realized that when it would rain, it would just flood out that entire outdoor covered patio area. So, I was soaking wet. I got there at noon to get my hair done. I should have been there earlier, like on time. I got there like right when they said to get there, but I should have been at least 15 minutes early. Just knowing my hair. So I get there, I'm getting my hair done, nobody else is there, everybody else is running late, which was fine. I mean, I was pretty much the one that needed to be on time anyways. And I get my hair done, and then makeup comes, and then everybody else is showing up, the photographer gets there, and then it's like my family, and childhood friends and stuff, because we didn't do bridesmaids, or groomsmen, or maid of honor or anything. It was just kind of easier to do it that way. And it literally, like, started raining at about the ceremony was supposed to start at, was supposed to start at 1:30 and it started raining probably at about like 1. So I had to <laughs> once my hair and makeup was done, I was in my dress, everything was ready to go. I had to hop into one of my wedding planner's cars. They had to drive me around the venue and park me where we were supposed to come out of the main building to start the ceremony. So I had to wait in the car and then they had to like shuffle Colin out and I had to go hide in the bathroom which was great because I had to go to the bathroom anyways. Uh, I was dying. And so then I am like PMSing so I'm super emotional already like I'm getting married this is a huge thing. I'm my mom's only daughter like no part of my dad was ever going to be there. My mom was walking me down the aisle so like I was trying so hard not to cry and I was kind of freaking out a little bit just because it's a big deal, you know, like, marriage is, it's kind of scary, but, I mean, I was ready for it, we decided, you know, it was, it was time, it was good, it was just my, <laughs> my period emotions were just heightened, and it was, oof, but we did it, we made it, we made it through, beautiful, beautiful ceremony, it was raining, we did our vows, his vows, <laughs> beautiful. I thought mine were so, like, not that good, but his were amazing. I loved his vows. He loved my vows. I was like, okay, we're good. And then we did the sand ceremony. So we did the sand ceremony, and we have the hourglass, which I'll pop up pictures of, which is currently still sitting in my car. So we did that, and then we got all of our portraits done. And by the time we got our portraits done in the rain, oh my gosh, my dress was, like, stuck to my legs, and I was soaking wet. I needed a towel so badly. So they announced us and then we forgot what we were supposed to do. So then he went straight into toast. So then my mom did a toast and then Colin's dad did his toast right on the spot. 
And then I, the wedding planners came over and I was like, are we supposed to do cake next? And they're like, yes. So then we go over and we do the cake, which cake is hard. Like, why is that a tradition? It is so difficult to cut a slice of cake. So then we did like the two sides and the, the DJ didn't even know the cues, like what was going on. Cause it was originally set up to where the dance floor was supposed to be outside where the ceremony was, but it flooded. So all of his equipment was out there and we were inside doesn't really work that well we were like trying to figure out how to cut the damn cake while the DJ was like on his own thing saying his spiel but we were not like on the same timing with him at all so then after the cake cutting we get our food which we just did basically like a charcuterie board in a box and I think that was perfect okay so we finally get food we're trying to enjoy our food and then the DJ is like oh come up here la 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 blah 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 and then He's doing all these self-led dances and he literally was driving me nuts because he did the uh, Cupid Shuffle and then he did some stupid happy dance and me and Colm were looking at each other like, what is this guy doing? I don't like that. So we just kind of were like, okay, I mean, you can, you can stop. Then he proceeds to then do the WAP. And then me and Colin go up there because we're just I was just messing around and then he proceeds to stop the music and try to teach us the moves like no I just want to do my own thing and enjoy the last like 10 minutes of my wedding like it's fine because we just had that two hour block <sighs> so that finally happens and then he's trying to get us to do dance to our first song again at the end and so we danced for like two seconds really it wasn't that long and then we did our rounds and we asked who all was going out to the ranch for the after party after party and so then we left like we didn't even do a formal send off or anything and at this point anyway so our wedding coordinators are gathering up all of the decor trying to shuffle everybody out because we all had to leave technically by 3 30 because they had other weddings going on like that was the only block they picked whatever so we finally are like out and then we went out to Colin's grandparents house beautiful amazing perfect I didn't have to wear my dress. I literally wore this sweater, a pair of dark blue jeans, and then sandals. And when we got there, it was raining pretty hard, honestly. It kind of like stopped raining, so we went out and wiped all of the seats off and everything that we had set up, all the benches, and then uh, everybody was outside. Well, the weather was beautiful, and there was break in the rain, but then the rain just kept like raining hard and then kind of stopping and then raining hard and then like just drizzling so we ended up putting the canopy over the fireplace and a bunch of people sat under there and then we had the gazebo that was full and it was just perfect I mean there was drinks there was food like snack foods and stuff I mean we did s'mores and it lasted until about dark which was like seven and at that point Colin and I were ready to go too and at that point some people had left and we were we were about ready to leave because there wasn't that many people left and then my mom was like open gifts and I'm like oh my gosh I want to go to bed I'm so tired I hadn't slept okay here's the thing I hadn't slept comfortably and when I say comfortably I mean like I I would go to bed at like probably 10 or 11 and I would wake up on the dot every single day at 5 a.m. with stomach issues and it sucked and so I didn't even sleep like at all for the night before my wedding because I went and stayed in a hotel with my childhood best friend and her mom and her mom was snoring the entire time and I had to stay up till one blow drying my hair and then I I couldn't sleep I just woke up I slept on and off until about 5 a.m. and then I woke up and I was up <laughs> so I was running on absolutely no sleep for like a week prior and then no sleep on that day I was tired I didn't want to do anything I wanted to leave but yeah that's that was pretty much our wedding day and the evening I'm trying out this new it's new to me the Milani screen queen foundation I'm trying out the shade 200 nude beige uh, Sharon always from shut up is Sharon she always raves about this foundation and I want to try it wanted to try it but what's weird is like in store they only have a certain amount of shades like they only have half maybe even less than half of the entire range 
I typically pick a shade that Kathleen Lights is. I can get away with using her foundation shade. And the foundation shade she picked, they didn't even have. So I was just like, I think I'm just gonna go one shade above Sharon and hope that it works. So then we decided to do a honey like a small honeymoon for three days. It wasn't even a full three days, it was basically two days and then two days of driving. Cause at first when Colin got his new job, they were like yeah, that's opening week. You can't have any time off. So we were, I was like, okay, that's fine. We'll just plan something for like December or something. I mean, or even next year. It doesn't matter. And then on our anniversary, which was September 27th, they were like, they called him and said, yeah, you can have those days off. So we basically just said, all right, let's go up to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, which is up north. He'd only been once for like a hockey trip when he was younger, so it wasn't really, it was kind of like a summer new for both of us, so we went there and oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. And I didn't realize how close it was to the Washington border, like it's not very far. So it's right next to Spokane Valley in Spokane, but it is so beautiful in Coeur d'Alene. Holy cow, it is amazing up there so we got in we drove we didn't leave here until like one on Sunday just because we both just wanted to sleep and then uh we just weren't really in a hurry to get to the hotel I mean, we couldn't check in until three anyway so it was like meh we leave when we leave it's like a six or seven hour drive and uh it was raining like the entire time we were driving and then we get there I think it was like 8 o'clock and Coeur d'Alene is on Pacific Standard Time so we lost an hour which was really nice or gained an hour. Did you gain an hour? We, we went back. We got to the hotel and Colin puts on the Seahawks game because he's a Seahawks fan and we're watching it and they were either down 13 or they were up 13 or something and Colin was like we're gonna lose we're gonna lose and so I was just like okay do you want to go to dinner? Let's go to dinner. He's like okay. So we go to dinner and we walk in and we walk in on the bar side we go to this cute little restaurant it's so delicious it's called tomato street it's an italian restaurant we walk next to the bar and i said babe do you want to go sit in the bar like do you want to watch the game like that's fine he was like no i don't want to be distracted <sighs> okay so we sit down and all of a sudden after we ordered our drinks he was getting all of these like ESPN notifications because he gets them through the app and then I was just like put on the freaking game like I was like do you want like, we can go move let's go sit at the bar I don't care and he didn't and then he just kept getting more and then his dad and his brother were texting him so I said okay put on the dang game let's just watch it I don't care so then he puts it on and it's like the last two last two minutes and then the freaking Seahawks win. I was like, I told you. I told you to put on the dang game. Now they're 5-0, which I think is like the first time ever in uh, their history or whatnot. So yeah, that was really funny. And I was just like, hmm. So, <laughs> as being a little bit of a brat, I was like, maybe you should listen to your wife. He was just like, shut up. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Got up again early on Monday. I was like, what? Why do I keep getting up? so gosh dang early and I don't even have an alarm like no alarm set or anything so we just decide okay let's just get ready go get breakfast down at the hotel like because our hotel had free continental breakfast I just kind of decided to get ready and I just said okay let's let's go go by the lake go see some scenic things like drive around Coeur d'Alene you know and in my head, my idea of Coeur d'Alene was that it was this super small, kind of like wintry town, you know, like a winter wonderland, kind of like Leavenworth in Washington, which I've never been, but I have seen pictures. So I kind of had like that idea of Coeur d'Alene, not that it's pretty much a full-blown city, kind of, I say that loosely. So we decided to go to the lake and we walked the whole park and oh my goodness, is it just so beautiful and the weather was perfect it wasn't raining it was kind of breezy it was like a perfect fall day it really was and so it was by the resort that we were originally gonna stay at 
and I was just kind of like, I'm glad we we didn't end up staying at that resort. I know mean, how to pay to park. There wasn't free breakfast. Like. The amenities were not worth it and after looking at all the reviews I was just like let's not spend the money so we just stayed at a suite and had a king suite instead at a different hotel but it was still pretty close to downtown which was nice we shopped at the cute little downtown plaza and then we decided to go get lunch I don't even think we really had a decision like really had an idea of what we wanted to do for the day. I mean, this was completely, I didn't plan the honeymoon. I was just like, let's just go. Let's just see what we do, what happens. That's pretty much what we did. I mean, we shopped a lot. I'm planning on doing a, what I got on my honeymoon haul. Yeah, and then on Tuesday when we left the hotel, we didn't have quite as early of a start. But we still, I think we were out of the hotel by 10. We got breakfast, we, maybe we didn't, no we didn't get breakfast. We waited too long. But there was a McDonald's like right next to, right in the same lot as our hotel. So we ran down and got breakfast while I painted my face. Yeah. So then, um, we, it was really, it was raining pretty hard so we decided to go into Spokane Valley and just do just go to the mall because we saw the mall uh, the day before and we wanted to walk it because you know malls are really not they're kind of a dying breed at this point there are those little willow tree uh, sculptures and I for some reason always identified them as being Catholic even though I don't think they have a distinct religion tied to them I don't know just because my aunt always had them and she was Catholic but we bought one of those because they're just so cute and there was a they had a Hallmark store that that's what I was gonna say so this mall actually had a Hallmark store okay sidebar so I was at Target and I saw this Sonia Kashuk wide contour brush and it looks just like my complex complex couture prep set bronzer brush I thought but now that I'm looking at them they're similar but this the Sonia Kashuk one is a lot more dense I'm gonna try to use this one today sorry that was so off topic but I saw this and I was like maybe this is a dupe this one's only 17 and if you have a target in your area it's easier to access I think complex culture is only online so I want to compare I might, I'm, I want to dive into the deep world of figuring out dupes for products. We'll see. I'm going to test out the new, well it's not dupe, it's new to me. A lot of Milani man, uh, Milani Dolce bronzer, their baked bronzer. I've had this for a couple months now and I haven't tried it. I got it because I was trying not to buy a hourglass bronzer. But then I ended up buying, I'll show you, I ended up buying the sculpture edit, the new one for this, sorry it's disgusting, for this holiday season. And I actually really like this, but I'll get on that in a different video. Okay, but I like this brush. I mean, it's a little more dense than the prep set one, but it does kind of the same... It's got like the same shape to it, which is the shape I like in a bronzer brush. And I really wanted a second one. But I didn't really want to pay the 30 some odd dollars for a second one and only place that one order. Place an order for just one thing. So far so good. It pretty much does the same thing. It's just a little bit more dense than I like. I'm just going to go over with the complex couture one it is couture not contour right culture complex culture wow I okay they're definitely not dupes maybe shape wise maybe it just maybe you need to wash it because sometimes you know like brushes that are in these type of plastic casings they just tend to be shaped a little bit too well Maybe it just needs 
to be used to really like loosen up the density who knows I do like it it's just a lot firmer than the other one I like that this one's just not as firm I mentioned that foundation but I I didn't even talk about it <laughs> yeah that foundation shade honestly pretty good I think it has pretty good coverage and it doesn't look super cakey and weird where foundation normally looks super cakey and weird on my face. I'm going to take the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Sculpture. Look what a mouthful. And I think I'm going to take this brighter pink blush in the shade, uh, it's a strobe, bl strobe blush in Vibrant Flush. On a Sigma F53 Air Contour Blush Brush. I've actually really been enjoying this. I really want to do a favorites video soon just because I've been not really on YouTube and I have been using makeup. So I kind of do have my October favorites list going. Uh, I just ran out of time planning a wedding to plan videos and stuff. It's just, it's just not very busy. It's very busy, very fast, and pretty stressful, pretty fast. Alright, so we did our honeymoon. We shopped a lot. We pretty much shopped until we dropped both days, but we did, I forgot how blinding this eyeliner is. We did find a tap house that we both really really love and they have a pretty good beer selection I say pretty good they're a tap house they have to have a good beer selection um I really liked the beer that Colin got and uh, most of the beers there are pretty locally brewed in Idaho it seems like or Washington since they're so close to that border oh my gosh their food was amazing and honestly on par with like Chili's prices Supporting a local restaurant, restaurant bar, tap house, for what we would have spent if we went on a night out here regularly for our honeymoon. We went twice, that's how much I liked it. Like, if I'm visiting somewhere new, I don't normally go to the same place twice, like ever. So that was definitely a first. And I totally didn't even mention the name, it's... It's called Sweet Lou's, and they have another one in Idaho. I don't remember where, but there's one in Coeur d'Alene for sure. It's like the downtown. Amazing, amazing food. Okay, so I jumped off camera to do the rest of my eyes and my lips. Uh, also because my camera decided to turn off while I was still talking, and I didn't set a timer because I forgot how to film. <laughs> Anyways, um... So yeah, that was like pretty much the extent of our honeymoon and our wedding. Um, highly, highly, highly recommend doing a micro wedding. I would probably try to limit it to three hours instead of two. Two hours for the ceremony and all of it was kind of a lot to get done in a little bit of time. So I'd recommend maybe trying to see if you could cut it down to like a three or a four hour event. Really don't need that much time. Maybe then go somewhere else you know, and do your after party there, kind of like we did. It was perfect. It was the most perfect day. So yeah, um, I would definitely recommend a smaller wedding. I think it was honestly perfect. We had about 45 guests, if that. Um, it was just so amazing. I was not expecting as many people to come up from Arizona just because due to the circumstances due to them only knowing for about like two months when the date was. I fully was not expecting all of my friends and family, not all of my friends and family, but a bunch of my friends and family to show up. But it was such a beautiful, perfect, perfect, perfect day. I cannot wait for my wedding pictures to come back so I can share them with you guys so you can just see how beautiful my day was. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys and let you know that I am filming I am back I did just post a video last night when you see this it'll probably be it there'll probably be another video before this one goes up but yeah oh, I love this look this is such a like a classic holiday going to a dinner party evening look I love it I'm here for it let me know what you guys think let me know what you think 
<laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed just a little chatty get ready with me, letting you know what all has happened in the last pretty much month and a half. If any of you are interested in kind of how I planned my wedding and what I did and any recommendations and some of the DIY projects I did, what I did for my guest book, like if you guys want to see any of that, let me know. I'd be more than happy to film a video on kind of what we decided not to do, what we cut corners on, what we made sure we paid for. Um, my number one advice is definitely hire a wedding coordinator. Things go so much smoother when there's someone handling all of the little things and handling the decor like I thought originally that I wanted to just do it all myself no hire somebody else to do it it is worth it that is something you do not want to cut corners unless you have a designated family member who wants to help you out but a professional is always the way to go especially for that okay guys so that completes today's video I hope you enjoyed the cute little look I created all the products I used will be linked down below because I really didn't mention a lot of them I hope you guys enjoyed a little glimpse into my day my wedding day uh, if you have any questions about what I did to cut corners or what I recommend what I don't recommend let me know I mean after being a bride I kind of kind of think my day was perfect I mean perfect for my relationship perfect for now my husband so weird that he's my husband now I digress. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please do not forget to follow me on all my social medias. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you feel like seeing my face more. I'll leave the playlist I'm currently listening to on Apple Music this week linked down below, as well as Sharon, because I did mention her, her channel. Uh, you should go check her out. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!